Bourbon producers have always loved sticking the word old at the beginning of their brands. You've got your old Taylor, old Crow, old Granddad, old Forrester, old Fitzgerald, and old Charter. Now, of course, who the heck cares about a charter? Why would you want to name a bourbon after a charter? Well, turns out there's a story. In the 17th century, the, ch the royal charter for the Connecticut colony was hidden away in a giant oak tree in Hartford to keep it away from the English governor general. Is that story true? Does that matter? Well, it seems like with bourbon companies, the less true the story, the more likely they're going to use it for their brand. The old charter brand itself began with the Chapiz brothers, whose names I'm probably mispronouncing, I'm sorry. Now, they built a distillery in 1867 and called the resulting bourbon Old Charter. The Chapiz brothers ran the company until 1890 when they sold the brand, the stock, and the distillery, which was now called Old Charter Distillery, to a company called Wright and Taylor. About midway through Prohibition, the Chapiz family actually bought all that stuff back, the distillery, the, the, the stock, the brand, from Wright and Taylor. Once Prohibition was done, they then sold the company to Shenley, a major spirits producer in America. Now, Shenley never reopened the Old Charter distillery and instead produced um, Old Charter bourbon at one of their many other distilleries. Shenley owned the brand until 1987 when United Distillers bought all of Shenley's stuff. In 1999, Sazerac, the owners of Buffalo Trace, bought the old Charter brand. When you find a dusty bottle of old Charter bourbon, take a look at its front label and scan down to the bottom. There you will find the name of a location in Kentucky. If it says Frankfort, Kentucky, then it was distilled at what is now the Buffalo Trace Distillery. That also means that it was distilled 1999 or later because Sazerac slash Buffalo Trace purchased the Old Charter brand in 1999. If you take a look at a bottle like today's Old Charter and you scan down the label and see the words Louisville, Kentucky, that means it was distilled at the Old Bernheim Distillery. Not only does that put the date before 1999, it also puts the date at 1996 or earlier because the old Bernheim distillery literally exploded in 1996. This old charter was part of the Bourbon Heritage Collection, a set of five bottles that was released in 1994 by United Distillers. You may also notice that United Distillers stuck with the heart of the old charter brand by putting an image of the charter oak right on the label, because nothing says Kentucky bourbon like a tree in Hartford, Connecticut. Old Charter, 13-year-old proprietor's reserve, it was distilled at Old Bernheim Distillery in Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, it's all going in there. The oak shows first. It's a very lovely, calm oak a really rich vanilla bean, cinnamon, toffee pudding, tawny port, dried fruit notes, like raisins, like dried cranberries, something like that. Maybe a hint of wood smoke, envelope glue. Does anybody remember envelope glue? Cheers. Woo. So one's, de one's opinion on this depends upon one's tolerance for oak. Dusty walnut, cherry lollipops, really sugary, plump, soft raisins. <clears throat> Despite all the years in wood, there's no bitter oak note to it. Give it a little bit of time in the glass, 10 minutes or so, and it starts to pick up some dessert notes on the palate, similar to the ones on the nose, like a very rich vanilla bean, some sort of creamy, caramel-ish pudding. The finish is all about the sizzle, from the, the alcohol heat to the peppercorns to even this like fizziness, like a lemon fizziness. 
Some final thoughts. Old Charter 13-year-old proprietor's reserves nose is very nice, very rich, and much more complex than the palate is. And the palate is fine. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing technically wrong with the palate. One's opinion of the palate will have to do with one's oak tolerance. You know, the heat in the palate's not bad. It's like... Papa. Sounds like my time is up. I spilled some on my beard.